Aloha guys, hope everyone's doing well. I'm just bringing a little short video to you today with an experience I had with my Mavic 2 Air. And mind you, this is the replacement that DJI just sent me not even a week ago. And I also reported about having the fan sound really abnormal to me when I was doing not only the firmware update, but before and after the fans seemed like they were running really odd. And I've never heard that out of any of my products before from them. So it was almost as if they were kind of snorting, like they weren't spooling up fully at all. Like they barely were turning on, then they're powering down and powering up a teeny bit and powering down. Just a really abnormal sound that to me didn't make any sense. I don't know what that would benefit the drone from doing. But regardless, it was something that raised a red flag to me and I made note of it and I con contacted DJI and I had them document and produce a case and look into it and they were gonna look into it with their engineers and they say that they're gonna contact me back within 24 to 48 hours. And I followed up with them again, probably two to three days later, which is obviously more than 48 hours. And we went through the same thing. I talked to someone else and they said they were gonna contact me again, 24 to 48 hours. About 10 days went by. I never heard anything from them other than a couple correspondences and emails that didn't really even make sense. They were asking me for information that I already gave the people on the phone. So essentially I didn't hear anything regarding the fan issue that I was hearing. And they actually did address the fan, at least the tech did saying that they never heard, or a super, I think it was a supervisor I spoke with, but she was saying that they never heard that fan noise from the drone, which is why they wanted to keep on looking into it with the engineers, and that they apologize, saying it's a new product for them and it's a new release, and that they're gonna contact me when they hear more. Now in the interim, they advised me not to fly the drone, so I waited over two weeks to get my replacement Mavic Air 2, so obviously I'm anxious to fly them, and now I have to wait patiently for them to get back to me, and they never got back to me. So I was reading on some of the forums, and people were kinda just giving me some advice and they said just do a little test run which is obviously something I'm familiar with so I hovered and just kind of weaned my way into it and it seemed to be pretty fine and I did a little short flight near my home and then today on a job I went and flew to do some real estate stuff and this guy gave me a warning on the fly app and then today on a real estate job I was flying and not even 10 minutes probably not even five minutes in the air I got a warning on the Fly app stating that there was an overheating issue and it was going to return to home and basically I had no control and I had to force land it. So I didn't mess around with this because I had to kind of be on a time schedule. So I got a spark and got the shots that I needed with that little guy. But again, this interfered with now a real life job, which is not what we want obviously, especially when we're using this thing professionally, making money. So fan issues from day one. And then later on, not even a week later, we have an overheating issue, which obviously is part of a fan thing. So, I mean, maybe they're, they're somewhat related somehow, I know. I don't know if that fan noise that I was hearing is a direct correlation with the overheating thing, but regardless, it's not giving me peace of mind. And with this kind of gear, when you're flying stuff in the air and there's safety involved, you do need to have peace of mind. And again, that's why I really am emphasizing with them to send me another replacement because for me, that gives me more peace of mind than knowing this thing had multiple issues from the first day and then they're gonna repair it. I don't have the same, you know, like confidence in the product when they do something like that. I would rather start with a brand new product and have a hopefully a clean slate and then go from there. And if there is a little hiccup later on down the line, not the first day, then, you know, have them repair it or look into it. I mean, that's just daily maintenance essentially. So. Let me know if you guys have experienced anything like this with your Mavic Air 2 or any drone overheating, forcing you to return home. I mean, again, I never even had this happen and I lived in Hawaii for almost eight years and I had Phantom 4 Pros out there. I normally flew in a Mavic 2 Zoom and I never had my drone get forced to come home because of an overheating issue. So let me know in the comments below, but I just wanted to give you some input on this guy, the weird fan noise, and I can put a link below to what the fan noise sounded like in that particular video I uploaded when I was doing the firmware update and afterwards too. And, um, and let me know again, if you've had any overheating issues with this guy and let me know what you think. I mean, it's an amazing drone, I love them, but I haven't really had the opportunity to fly this thing 
for more than a week without having some kind of issue that's causing me to send it back in. So that stinks. But again, aloha guys. Peace. Bye.